Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the brand new Division video. What if I guess today is a little tips and tricks video on how you can get the mask in patch 7. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, here are some of the screenshots we got from a trailer that was released about two days ago uh, showing off the masks and I'll be honest with you guys, they look pretty sick and a lot of people want them, a lot of people want to find out how to get them, but there's not really a clear answer on how you can get these masks. Um, there's some speculations that you get them like one way, there's some speculations that you get them the other way. I wanted to make a video and tell you guys how I think you will get them. And there's definitely some proof in the 1.7 patch notes that I kind of went off of. And a lot of people, like I said, still don't know how to get them. So I decided to make a video. A lot of you guys have been asking me. So here it is. So first of all, the masks, I'll be honest with you guys. They have to add more masks because right now I think there's only three of them. And I, I think every global event, they're adding like three new ones or they're adding new ones um, as time progresses. But in my opinion, them adding this feature of having like a mask on your character was a great, great move. And right now, I know it's the second day of 1.7, but I want to be honest, and I think they did a great, great job on this patch. Although we didn't receive any new weapons or gear sets or anything like that, I do feel like this patch brought some players back to the game, and hopefully they still enjoy it. Anyways, getting back to the video on how you can get this mask on your character, so what I'm going off of are the patch notes, and if you guys want to see them, I will leave a link in the description below uh, so you can see it for yourselves, but what it pretty much says here is face masks can be obtained during global events. That's literally all it says, and it also says it's a vanity item, but we all already know that, so the only way you actually get them is during global events, and there's two theories that people are saying, and there's two theories in my mind on how you get them. First of all, is the leaderboards at the end. Um, the more you play the game or the more you play global events, uh, the more kills you get, the more time you have played on them, uh, the more missions you do, everything like that, you are getting a chance of getting it during the end of the global event, like as a leaderboard reward. And some people are saying that's the only way to get them, like you have to grind global events, you have to grind it a lot, you also have to have a lot of time played on the global events um, in order to be in that, I guess, like percentage of getting the mask. But there's also people saying that you can get them from bosses and if you do like the Napalm's production site, Legendary Mission or uh, the Dragon's Nest or Subway, whatever it is, you have a chance of getting the mask from the bosses. And I was thinking about that as well and to be honest, I do want to say I don't think you will be able to get them from bosses. At least like right now, there's no way I think they would make this like a RNG drop. I think the only way you can actually get them is towards the end of the global event as a reward system. Now, I could be wrong, I could, you know, someone could get them from a boss, someone could get them from a cash. You really never know, but as I said, in my theory, uh, for this to be such a rare item and for this to be uh, such a demand, I guess, of a, of a gear piece that everyone kind of wants it, I do think the only way you are going to be able to get them is from the leaderboards. And this might suck for people that, you know, don't really have time to play this. I do think later on you'll be probably able to purchase them or get them some other way. Yeah. But for right now, if you do want a chance of getting this mask, I would recommend grinding just the global event missions, going for a lot of kills, not really going down, uh, you know, earning a lot of credits and stuff like that. So you have the best possible chance at the end to get yourself this item. Now, if any of you guys have a different opinion on how you get this mask or a different theory, let me know in the comment section below. I read all my comments, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, what you guys have to say. But that is pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.